Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing a Patriots rebuild, but we're going to trade for Marcus Mariota. Not the biggest fan of Marcus Mariota, but I want to experiment a little bit. We're going to do one with Mariota, eventually Ryan Fitzpatrick, probably Mitchell Trubisky. God help me. But I know everything we have to do on this team. Find some receivers. I like Damian Harrison running back. Need some tight ends. Need basically the whole defense. We're going to keep J.C. Jackson. We're going to trade away Stephon Gilmore. But let's start off by bringing J.C. Jackson back. Hightower could go. Andrews will probably let go. Joe Tooney we will for sure let go. We have a ton of money. So we're going to spend that. Really. We're going to spend that way. Can go McCordy. Man, I don't want anybody else down here. Yeah, I don't want anybody down there. Let's bring back J.C. Jackson. 18 million. I kind of like David Andrews on a one-year deal. Not three years. Never mind. So we made big three offers. Kenny Galladay, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Jonu Smith. And we have to trade for Marcus Mariota in one second. But let's advance. See if we're going to get our guys. We got all of them. That's perfect. Let's get Mariota on the team, unfortunately. So I am trading a third-round pick, Nikhil Harry and Patrick Chung, for Marcus Mariota. I thought about doing a second-round pick. With the 15th overall pick, we're going defensive tackle Barmore. He's a 74 with hidden development. This is such a Patriots pick. 90 strength, 76 block shed, 78 power move, 72 finesse. In the second round, we're going corner Asante Samuel Jr. 71 with normal development. 91 speed, 75 man, 72 zone, 55 play rank. Just seems right. In the fourth round, I went Washington. 67 with hidden development. 94 speed, 75 zone, 55 tackles, 65 pursuit. In the fifth round, I went Christensen, the left tackle. 65 with hidden. 88 strength, 73 run block, 69 pass. So I put Stephon Gilmore and Devin McCourty on the trade block, but nobody wants McCourty. A second from the Colts or the Raiders. It's going to have to be the Raiders. Even though I feel like they'll do better than the Colts, but guess it's just how it's going to be. So we are a 79 overall team with Mariota at quarterback, who's a 69. He has some good receivers. Edelman down to normal development is a crime, by the way. Christensen over to center. We have Michelle. We have Harrison running back. Smith the tight end. No real linebackers to talk about. I do like Usain Jennings, but in this, I don't think he's going to be all that great. Griffin? What is this nonsense? Get him out of here. So, Marimore, even though he's an offensive tackle, even if I auto-align, they still put him at right end. So, I guess that's just how it's going to be. We have Jackson, Jones, Asante Samuel, Duggar at strong safety, and our slot guy is not, not going to be Julian Edelman. I'm going to make a junior. We did not make the playoffs with Marcus Mariota. We went 5 and... Nope, we went 6 and 10. 5 and 11 is for the Dolphins and the Jets and the Bills 13 and 3. Mariota, 3,900 yards, 25 and 16 is not great. Michelle, 680 with 6. Harris with 5. Galladay, 939 with 8. Smith with 5. 2 for Juju. 2 for Edelman. You would expect those big name receivers to make some plays, but I guess with Mariota at quarterback, you know, it's not going to be a given. Bentley, 101 for tackles. Eight sacks for Jennings is great. Eight for Winovich. Three and a half for Bentley. Three interceptions for Jackson and a few ones. Now, we have to pay to bring back Jackson. Michelle's going to be a free agent who I don't want. Rogers MVP, by the way. Lawrence, two. Ryan, three. Any pats? No. Any pats? No. Offensive rookie? Nothing. Defensive rookie? Nothing. We do have the hidden development. What? Free safety. The center. Who do we take first round? Oh, Barrymore. That's right. Christian in with star. I knew that was going to happen. Why are you back again? Go away. Three for Barrymore is good. And then I'm assuming a lot. Five for Washington. That's good. What an unlikely Super Bowl matchup next year. The Falcons versus the Texans. Granted, they still have Watson in this and some weapons. And I guess still J.J. Watt. He just got cut in real life today. Not really going to be carried over to the game at all. But Devin McCourty will let him go, unfortunately. I feel like he should stay as a Patriot for the rest of his career. Maybe we will let him do that. I don't know. Myers can go. Bentley could go. Eh. What does he want? Two years, 2.4, 103 million. I'm not concerned about that. Mariota. I'm not giving you three years. I'll give you one year and pay you a little bit more money. If we can find somebody in the draft, we'll definitely do that. Allen, Smith. I hate to see Devin McCourty go. I really do. Maybe that's the Pats fan in me, but... Let's franchise tag. Let's go to free agency. I made offers to J.J. Watt, Van Der Esch, and James Daniels. I think that'll work out for us. Let's advance. We can get J.J. Watt in a one-year deal. That will be fantastic. Why does Van Der Esch always turn us down? 
in every single rebuild that I do. I don't think there's anybody else up here that I really want to bring in at this point. Like, Tate would be interesting, but I don't want to do it. Le'Veon, I don't think so. Is, like, is An or Andrew Jones? Is Aaron Jones still up there? He is, but I'm going to stick with Damian Harris. Let's go to the draft. Now, there's a quarterback up here in Khalil Henley that I like a lot. We have the seventh overall pick. Now, in theory, the Panthers won't take a quarterback. The Lions won't. Jets, Dolphins. The Colts might. And the Vikings might. The Vikings have... Okay, I guess it doesn't matter at this point then. With the seventh overall pick, we're going with the Heisman. Anthony Wilford, the corner. He's a 76 with hit in rank three. 93 speed, 76 man, 70 zone, 69 play rep. In the second round, we're going tight end Malcolm Jones. He's a 74 with normal 85 speed, 84 catching, 68 run block, 73 awareness. So we are a 78 overall team. Mariota is up to a 71 overall for whatever that's worth. The offensive line is very, very solid. Plenty of weapons. The computer drafted Hurst, a right outside linebacker. We're going to play him in middle linebacker. We have Barmore. We have JJ. We have Winovich. Wilford is at number three corner. Let's go right into it. Let's go to the playoffs. I don't think we made the playoffs. We did not. We went 6-10 and 10 again. I'd at least like to do like 3-13. and 13. The Bills 9-7, and seven, the Jets and the Dolphins again 5-11. and 11. Mariota 3,900 yards, 24-13. and 13. Harris 907 with 4. Taylor, who I like a lot, with 7. Galladay 1100 with 4. Smith 877 with 5. Gunner with 6. 6 for Juju. On defense, Bentley 112. Jones with 100. Sack totals 5 for Watt, 4 and a half for Barmore. Interceptions 3 for Duggar, 2 for Hurst, 2 for Jackson. And a whole lot of ones. 27th in offensive yards. Rodgers MVP. Yeah, we're really not going to have anything up here whatsoever, right? Nothing on offense. Nothing on defense. Nothing on rookies. Defensive rookie, though. We have Hurst. We have Wolford. We have Vincent. That's a defensive tackle I took later on in the draft. But we have two hidden developments. Let's see what they're going to be about. I mean, the corner should be X-Factor. But my luck never goes that way. Nothing crazy on offense. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> the Browns beat the football team 35-26. to 26. Interesting. We're going to bring back J.J. Watt if we can. Devin McCourty could go at this point. I don't love the two years for J.J., so I'm going to offer him a lot of money for one year. I figure Jonathan Jones we don't need. Isaiah Wynn, Winovich I'd like to bring back. Let's go like that and that. That's good. Jake Bailey, I'll take a hard pass on that one. Winovich on a two-year deal. That's kind of a steal. If we had to do like four years, a lot more money, I wouldn't really be interested in that. Jawan Williams. Let's give him two years, 1.5. Kind of a weird, really. Kind of a weird pick. J.J. Taylor. I like him, but I don't think so. Damian Harris, who I said I did like. Let's give him three, 2.8, but we are going to be looking for a better running back. I like Cord a lot, but I think we're good. So I made offers to Tyree Kill. J.J. Watt, Kareem Hunt, Bobby Wagner, basically putting all my chips in the middle and hoping we find a quarterback in the draft, which I am training up for this year. Really? Tyreek Hill is going to turn us down? I guess that's fine. But that's also very disappointing. Yeah, I don't want anybody else. Let's go to the draft. So we have the seventh overall pick. There is a quarterback there that I want to get. I tried to trade up for one. Didn't happen. That's fine. The Eagles won't need a quarterback. The Jets won't need a quarterback. In theory, and I'm going to be so mad for risking this, the Raiders don't need a quarterback. Seahawks definitely don't. The Dolphins shouldn't. Okay, let's take the quarterback. I don't know if he's going to be a slam dunk. Tom Arnada. Aranda? Aranda? I don't know. I don't know how I got to Arnada. 75 hidden development. 90 throw power, 82 deep accuracy, 84 medium, 82 short. So we have two second round picks with the first one left outside linebacker McMahon. 72 in normal, 73 tackles, 74 hit power, 87 speed, 91 acceleration. In the third round, I went right guard Zach Baker, which means we could probably trade away Shaq Mason. 88 strength, 66 run block, 75 pass. So we are an 82 overall team. I did put Mason on the trade block. If we could trade him away, Baker will be starting at center. But our, our, I don't even know how to say this. Aranda? Aranda? That's what I'm going to call him. Starting a quarterback. Haywood is the number three or number four receiver. I'm going to put him up to number three. The computer drafted him. The offensive line is good. The defense is coming along. Not really sure why Jennings isn't starting over McMahon. That looks a little bit better. 
All right, let's see if we can trade Mace. Let's see the offers. A second from Tennessee is going to take it home. All right, let's go to the playoffs. We won our division at 11 and 5, and we're playing against the 9 and 7 Browns. Dolphins 8, 7, and 1, the Jets 6 and 10, and the Bills 3 and 13. Our Honda, 3,600 yards rather, 29 and 10. Hunt 1,100 with 7, Harris with 7, Juju 950 with 5, Galladay with 3, Williams with 12. Hayward with nothing, great. Wagner 114, 13 and a half sacks for Watt, 13 for Barmore. Interceptions, 3 for Jackson, 2 for Wilford, and a lot of ones. We're 24th in offensive yards. Borrow MVP. No Pats. No Pats again. Defensive player Joey Bosa. JJ at 9. Offensive rookie is our guy, of course. Defensive rookie. Gilbert at 7. McMahon at 8. That's fine. Let's go to be disappointed by our star development quarterback. X-Factor. Great. But only 6 XP, that hurt. Here we go. Can we beat the Cleveland Browns? We're going left. We start out with a field goal, a 52-yard field goal. That took a lot of time, but all of a sudden, they're up 14-3. What are we doing here? Come on, guy. 17-3, 20-3. Are we basically going to get shut out? That's what it seems like. What a joke. 41-10. I know it's the Browns. I know Madden loves the Browns. That's kind of embarrassing. Two interceptions. Touchdown for Harthorne. Two for Hill. Landry, 45 yards. Beckham with 100. Touchdown, Peoples-Jones. Touchdown, Hooper. And touchdown, Malcolm Jones. What just an ugly, ugly loss. At least the Browns won the Super Bowl. They beat the Cowboys 28-21. to That makes me feel a little bit better. Let's bring back Michael Onmanu. Don't really know how to say it. And I am a Patch fan. and just never heard anyone say it before. Kyle Duggar could definitely go. Usay can go. Bentley can go. Jennings, at this point, being start of element, I'll bring him back. We still have 58.7. And I believe this is a year with good old, Isaiah, good old Isaiah Simmons. So I made offers to Isaiah Simmons, Jeffrey Okuda. So yes, two top 10 picks. And Sterling Shepard, so he can be our number three receiver. Let's advance, even though we have Hayward, but I'm not really concerned about that. I feel like somebody always has to turn us down every single year. Speak of the devil. Let's bring back Barmore. With the 23rd overall pick, we're going middle linebacker Marshall. He's a 75 with normal. 89 speed, 86 tackles, 71 block shot, 86 hit power. What an absolute joke. In the second round, I'm going left end Dave McDonald. He's a 75 with normal as well. 74 power move and finesse, 77 speed, 88 acceleration. So we are an 84 overall team. Everything on offense is the same. Hayward ended up having star development, by the way. And on defense, we're just looking real good all around. Adding in Simmons is great. Yeah, we're just in good shape. Now, I am going to mess around with the offensive playbook. Let's go to good old Tennessee. And I think... Yeah, meh, let's go. Let's go multiple power. We did not make the playoffs. We went seven and nine, tied with the Jets. Come on. We couldn't win one more game. Tom had 3,800 yards, 29 and 12. Hunt 967 with three, seven for Harris. Wow, Williams 1,100 with nine. Juju three. Johnu with eight. Galladay with four. Marshall 104 for tackles. Not bad for the rookie. Ten and a half sacks for Winovich. Four interceptions for JC Jackson. Definitely glad I brought him back. But, I mean, 26 in offensive yards is awful. And, like, we're not going to have anybody up here. Yup. Yup again. Offensive rookie. Defensive rookie. Yeah, we'll have Marshall. We'll have Carrington. We'll have McDonald at night. All right. That's fine. But, like, we don't have any hidden development. So, I'm not really interested. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. Why would I change his name to that? Yeah, we'll turn off firing now. And then I feel like I've taken a team as far as I can. of the man to release or just restart. That's I usually just go five years. And then I just start over. Because the simulation's so inconsistent, where I've had teams that are in the high 90s and they don't make the playoffs. So. The Jaguars beat the Bears 33-27. to Now, Juju's going to be a free agent. Galladay, Winovich, Jonu Smith. I will bring back Washington. I will bring back Seth Williams. We have a ton of money. I feel like at this point, we have to bring back Juju. Uh, Galladay, Jonu Smith. I'd like to bring them back, but it's really not the end of the world if we don't. Randy Gregory. I'm going to take a hard pass on that. Asante Samuel, let's go five years, increase the money. Christensen, Johnson, the defensive tackle. 
I mean, we have Barmore. We don't really have to do that, even though we could put him in end if we really wanted to. But yeah, Juju being 28 years old. I mean, there's no reason not to increase this money. Give him basically whatever he wants. What do these guys want? Two years, I'm all set. Four years, I'm definitely all set. Yeah, we're good. Let's go to free agent. Since it is the last year, I made offers to Hopkins, Mac, Pay, Winovich. Just push all our chips into the middle. We have our X-Factor quarterback. Not exactly the X-Factor running back. Why? Why does one person always turn me down? Like, I don't want Ragor. I really don't. With the 13th overall pick, we're going right end Jameel Kent. He's a 76 with hidden development. 70 power moves, 66 finesse, 80 speed, 86 acceleration. So we are an 84 overall team in our final year. We are loaded up on offense and for sure loaded up on defense. I mean, even Jennings is up to superstar, which is huge. We're four deep at corner, great defensive line with good backups with Kent, McDonald, Vincent. There's really no point. We are no chance we'd miss the playoffs. Didn't make the playoffs. Wonderful. You went seven and nine. I don't know how to make this team much better. 4,600 yards, 31 and 15. Hunt 903 with nine. Harris six. Juju 1200 with four. Great. Hayward 1000 with eight. Great. Williams 950 with six is great. Jones seven, two for Hunt. On defense, Jackson 101 for tackles. That's not a good sign. Nine sacks for Winovich, seven and a half for Quiddy Pay. Interceptions, three for Gilbert, two for Samuel, and a few ones. That's off. That's just disappointing. Eighth in offensive yards. That's crazy. He should be a lot higher than that, I think. Nothing defensive player of the year. Offensive rookie, Wilson, the running back, has hidden development. Defensive rookie, Kent at four, who also has hidden development. All right, let's take one final look at our team. Check all the developments before we end this video. Has star. What a surprise. Four for Aranda. Let's see it star ah uh, that's so disappointing but that is gonna be it for this video hit the like button down below the subscribe button down below and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching goodbye